What is up guys, McDoubles back here with a brand new video, and today we're going to be checking out the Arcane Dream build, and this is going to be very, very sick. Guys, this is an Arcane Caster build, and we're going to be going in with the Starfire on Felforged High Risk Mode, so I hope you guys enjoy, let's get into it. <laughs> Okay guys, so today we are on Felforge mode with only one more day left until they take the mode away from us and we're gonna go with something completely different. We're gonna go with a caster build on Yeeter the Gnome and that's gonna be really, really fun right off the bat because it is not a normal caster build. It is in fact the Arcane Dream with the Starfire. We've got Arcane Missiles if we end up needing it, Starfire, Moonfire, Corruption for the Eradication Talent. We have the Flash Shield and the Healing Touch, the Icy Veins for more spell casting speed, and an inability to be interrupted. Cannot downplay that. That is huge. And the Power Word Fortitude for extra HP. Pretty excited, but let's get into some PvP and see how it does. The goal is level 60, my friends. Hopefully, we can make it with minimal, if not any, deaths. And, uh, yeah, let's do it. All right, I saw a guy. Let's go in there. Slam him. <laughs> it's like Slamom. Okay, I have both dots up. We're gonna go for the Starfire. I'm gonna go for the Icy Veins. See if I can just outcaster this guy. Oh, he knows. He knows he can't compete with freaking Fireball against Starfire. You know what, man? <laughs> Hopefully they do some balance pass stuff on Felforge mode, but you know what? This is the end. And you know what I think they should do, by the way, that would really add to it? GG to you, by the way, my friend. Uh, I think they should make all random enchants just usable on Felforge mode. You should not have to collect them. Maybe the orbs you still have to collect, but that's a whole different story. I think it would add build diversity on a level that none of you, including me, could even imagine. It would be so insane what would be opened up in all these different level brackets if that was the case. But anyway, let's see what we get. Drain life, lesser healing wave, Frostabolt. I think I'm going to go with the Frostabolt. Uh, uh, sorry for that, but I'm going to go for the frostbolt because it's a slow and blessing of kings will go for that as well so that is not too bad 1k hp is what we just broke right there and we'll do a rank one frostbolt for the uh, range slow for pvp that should be good of course it misses the first time i use it but that should be good against any melee person we can do like that and then they're going to be slowed for three seconds so we can gain some distance go back for the star fires and i only need after this guy the see Two more befouled water elementals so we can turn this quest in and move on. If you don't know how Felforge works, by the way, check out my last video. We explain everything and go into basically a one-hour marathon of crazy amounts of PvP and death. And it, it's a whole trip, but it does explain what's going down. I do feel bad for that female Taran we just killed because anybody that comes to this area knows that they're coming here to avoid fights. I did it because I knew there'd be people like that here and I wanted to get a fight. But most people go to the uh, western Ashenvale area to fight, you know, local wildlife and stuff like that. That's what I've noticed throughout my years of playing Felforge mode, at least. Uh, okay, last Water Ellie. This is gonna be it. Arcane Dream, already working well. Have one PvP kill. And there we go. Let's get out of here. Ooh, Scholarly Rogue. No, it's Spirit Base. Okay, let's get out of here. Ooh, never mind. Unsuspecting victim, Alvia Ren. Okay, there's the Frostbolt. Oh my god, it didn't go off. Whoa, what is this damage? What the hell? What the hell? What? You're not even level 25. How am I taking that much damage? You're not Rend OP. This is SS spam. This is not even remotely balanced. Holy crap, dude. Oh no. Guys, this is not right. Nobody can watch this right now and think, yeah, I really want to play Felforge mode on Ascension right now so I can get killed by this rando with his unliving moss flare doing insane. That's what it is. It's not the SS spam. I'm an idiot. It's the broken pet that no one should be allowed to have. Wow. You know what? I'm putting that in the video because people need to know the truth. That is wrong. I've had so many clips I attempted before with uh, previous versions of what could have been this video. And it was all stuff like that. And you know what? I'm not going to even pretend like I'm trying to hide it. That is garbage. Okay, so we're going to have to restart from scratch for no reason there. Uh, we go back to level 20. We'll go with the intellect gear, of course. And uh, we'll get a brand new epic enchant for that for some reason. So, okay. Emanating light. Not going to use that. I do actually have a very interesting enchant I want to try. And that is going to be an arcane enchant. Arcane synergy. Arcane missiles reduces the cast time and increases the critical strike damage bonus of your next starfire by 5%. Up to 25%. In addition, dealing damage with arcane missiles extends the duration of Lunar Eclipse. So what I'm really seeing here is that if I spam the missiles first, I'm going to get a bigger Starfire off. We'll try it, and uh, that actually utilizes all of my Arcane spells with that. I am super salty with that, man. Like, this is not the way Felforge mode used to be. These new uh, Demon and Undead pets are absolutely bonkers and should not exist. 
All right, guys, and just got a kill. Level 24. It wasn't too exciting of a fight, but now this guy's on me, and he has a freaking Mana Stalker. So I don't know if this is one of the OP ones. I actually think that the Mana Stalker is a Hunter pet, which is interesting. I could be wrong, but that's what I think it is. All right, Arcane Synergy. All right, no crit on that one. Let's go back for that Corruption. Again, for that uh, Arcane Missiles. Let's stack up that Arcane Synergy. All right, do I Healing Touch? Yeah, he doesn't have, as far as I can tell at least, unless he's really baiting me, he doesn't have an interrupt. So Starfire here, 105. I'm just going to Power Word Shield. Are you going to run? I missed my Starfire. Can you believe that? Uh-oh. Dude, this game sucks! Do I go for this guy? I think I do. Even though he, once again, has a demon pet like everybody else. Let's see if I get slaughtered by the demon pet. Let's go for the arcane synergy. And I'm stunned. And I'm almost dead. And I bet you all this damage is actually from his pet. Okay, let's go for the starfire. No crit once again. Interesting that I have a higher chance to crit than I do to miss. And I still got a miss on a previous fight and not a crit. Okay, we're still going. Come on. All right. The pet's doing uh, almost as much, actually more damage than the guy is actually doing to me. So that's interesting. I don't even have flame tongue up. I can't can't have a second to breathe. Let's go for the missiles right here and stack it up. Go for a starfire and just pray. It's literally all I've gotten. It's not critting, dude. It's literally not critting. Where's my advantage? Okay, lost to another guy with a pet. I think I could be very confusing sometimes. Like, I told you guys to use a pet, but that's me being a bro. That's me telling you if you want to win, use a pet. I still think that you shouldn't use it. <laughs> like, even though if you want to win, go ahead, min-max it and use it. My real advice is don't actually use those pets. So that's a big F, right? So, all right, here's a guy on me. And it looks like they are highly overgeared with 1,200 HP. <laughs> So that's wonderful right off the bat. I crit a 126, and this guy has me below half. Okay. Um, all right. So what do I do, right? Like, I'm dead serious. Like, I, I don't even want to be salty, but it's inevitable to be salty at this point. He has Crackling Thunder. He's regrowthing on me. His damage is 50 times mine, and I'm looking at instant lightning bolts, which means this dude literally has Thunder Slam as a legendary enchant right now. What the fuck? And I had the displeasure of fighting this guy for no reason early on. This guy has a freaking legendary enchant. Imagine if they just let legendary enchants be pickable, uh, because there's no way to beat this guy. And the only thing is, now I have to restart, go back out there and die to some guy's pet or some dude with a legendary enchant again. Guys, I think this is going to be a salty one, but you know what? It is what it is. Trust me, no part of me wants to be salty, but no part of me wants to lie to you either. So it is what it is. Like I said, Western Ashen Vale, let's go. Oh my god, is it a normal person? Wow, it's a normal person with Smite Holy Fire. Okay, can we win? We're both- it's just Arcane versus uh, Holy at this point. No specialties there. I don't even have a legendary enchant. My epic enchant wasn't even crazy anyway to begin with, so it doesn't even matter. Got interrupted. That's crazy, dude. That is crazy. Arcane missiles, I guess. Wow, I'm actually gonna die for nothing. It's insane. He just now had to use his potion. I literally went oom and I went uh, out of health. <laughs> wow. Holy crap. Yikes. So I was playing my other character from the previous video the other day and I decided to try using skill cards only to realize that they've actually redone the skill card system which is actually pretty sick. So I thought about it and I have 1100 fell power that's enough to get some skill cards and maybe we'll be able to get some stuff that helps empower our build so that we can you know actually have a fighting chance. I'm not quitting there's no part of me that's gonna quit and you know what we have to learn to take a negative and turn it into a positive so we gotta make things go up that's the whole point. Can we make it happen though? Maybe it'll rely on these skill cards. 40 chances to get an ability and I'll be able to quickly show you guys what the brand new skill card system actually looks like. So first of all, these are what the cards look like, which is pretty interesting. They've twisted everything to the right side and given it a diagonal motion. Uh, they didn't used to look like this. They were just vertical. So okay, I think that's fine. I don't think they had to change it, but I guess I'm okay with the flavor. And you can see if I click a skill card, it brings me to this new page. You can have three normal skill cards and three golden skill cards. And basically you have all of them show up right here that you actually own. This I do like. This makes it a million times easier to see what you have. You don't have to fish through your inventory. And then you can simply click them, click activate, and it'll, you know, give me Hammer of Wrath. And click it again and learn, activate. I now have Hellfire and then do it again and bada bing bada boom. I've got Holy Fire for some reason guaranteed. And that's a pretty interesting thing to keep in mind. All of these can be switched out. And so the really big thing to think about here is can I get some stuff that actually empowers my current Arcane Dream archetype? 
Well, I hope so. I'm gonna keep opening these and trading them in, and we'll see if we come up with anything decent. Huh. I, uh... Guys, I... I didn't get anything usable. <laughs> yeah, I got a Starfire card at the end of it all, which is kind of pointless. Um, I mean, maybe, maybe not. I could still use this and then get rid of Starfire. I'll be guaranteed Starfire, I believe, at 22. Uh, so I guess that's fine, but there aren't that many things I need to start with with this build. I need things that I get later on. I got Sunder Armor, which is a weird one. I also got Abolish Disease and a Res, and there's no way to res anybody in this game because it's Forge mode and you're always killing everybody. Wow. Guys! Alright. So I did use stuff, right? And I showed you guys. I have Hellfire, Hammer of Wrath, Holy Fire. None of this is usable except possibly the Holy Fire. This is not going well. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, I saved a slam. I guess I might as well just take all of this. I'll trade them in one more time and we'll just see if we get anything usable. Alright, we get two for five. Focus magic when there's no teams, okay? Exorcism! Gosh, okay, nothing. Alright, I guess we're going back out there. Guys, we will prevail, okay? Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answered a no, man, I still go Go, 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 go Hustle out, hustle every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave to the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way, uh, or the highway And in the driveway, is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb, I invite pain You'll never hear me, bitch, nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain Anything you want, anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient, it's belief uh, Better see with the negativity But I just slide right by that energy uh, Even when you feel low, you can still go Slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answered a no, man, I still go Go, 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 You got a mind, but even that you can flip the gray matter like some batter in your brain uh, That's why they say, fake it till you make it, eh And if you play that game, then you just might make a change Rearrange all the bad to okay Take the worst stuff, say, and turn them to a game Take the best stuff, say, and put them on display On repeat in your brain till you're feeling no more pain uh, Never slow yourself down, you can do some more Push past, start a pain, and you'll find a door Open it up, and finally explore Everything that you thought you could never do before So, holy crap, right? What a journey. Um, from the most salt I feel like I've had in all of League 3, to almost thinking we were going to overcome and then dying after uh, getting to our fourth fight, to now getting, what, six kills in a row? Being level 43 with two pretty easy Feraloss quests to do and a Starfire build that is absolutely ridiculous. Guys, I am so crazy strong right now. It just took a few levels and a little bit better build knowledge to make this work. And what do I mean by that? Well, I was doing very similar things to what I'm doing now. I just did them in a different order and it turned out to be better. So instead of focusing on all of these talents uh, just because it's balanced rude and it is affecting my stuff, like maybe taking Starlight Wrath early, I forced 
foregoed the Starlight Wrath, and I took Improved Moonfire, I took Celestial Focus, and then I went into the Arcane Mage Tree and took Alacrity early on. This was 9% more spell haste, and the super fast Starfires really showed. And then I just kind of kept up with that theme as time went on. Arcane Meditation for 3% more spell haste, and then a lot more balanced druid stuff. There's a lot of really good talents that have been created with League 3 for Starfire. Lunar Guidance is 9% Starfire crit, Improved Moonfire is 10%. Then I get 4% from Nature's Majesty, and 100% more Critical Strike damage from Vengeance. This is sick because it upkeeps my mana, gives me more spell damage, and then I can double down on all this extra damage with Moon Fury, which gives me 10% more Starfire damage, and then we can actually get the Starlight Wrath for 16% total. It's been ridiculous. I also got really lucky, and I picked up a random enchant called Moon Fury that is named after the talent I just told you about. It gives me 6% more Starfire damage, and as you can see, we're getting 1100 crits and like 5 or 600 crits on players at this point. Nobody can do anything about it. My baseline cast is already so insane, and my crit is so high that I'm basically guaranteed to get this other talent proc, Nature's Grace, for another 20% spell haste whenever I crit with Starfire. It's literally absurd right now. You do need to get like 10 levels, like that early game is not perfect. Uh, the Starfire is still good, but as you guys saw from a lot of those clips in the past, uh, it's not the best pre-30, but once you get over that first hump, it does actually start to see a huge increase in viability in Fellforge mode. Alright, six more Gordani Ogres. Then we'll go kill Woodpaw Knolls, and we'll be probably level 47 or something by then. I'm kind of happy I'm not encountering anybody right now, although I will say we will be doing max level fights at least one, because it depends if we die or live, and uh, I do want to find some more fights between 40 and 60, so I can guarantee you more PvP. It's just a matter of, are they going to come to me, or am I going to come to them? That's just wrong. Like, can you see the power level? I don't even have to try. Like, that's how strong I am. It's not a skill thing. It's realizing Starfire spam is really OP at this point, and I cannot even believe it to some varying degree. We got some pretty interesting loot off that guy, but the most important thing is his necklace for one extra stam and some resilience. I'll definitely take that. That's pretty good. The Tuscan Helm will sell. The Corpse Maker will sell. And uh, all this stuff, I think, is basically going to sell. Weapon Command will probably sell if it's cheap. It's already on a pretty decent piece of wrist guards right there. So, I don't know. I'm really happy with that. There was actually somebody at the Ogres. They were just on the other side. Um, I feel really bad for that guy, <laughs> but okay 1200 crit. Let's keep going. Oh, and we just got a brand new helmet Imperial leather helm. Don't mind if I do boys looking slick uh. <laughs> Holy crap another crazy one intimidation do I have Tame Beast on this character and I didn't even know, or is that a mistake? He said nice! Dude, awesome. Yeah, and I just put, like, the double flag, too. <laughs> it's just the one with the emoji gets me, dude. I always forget I have it. Oh! We actually got good stuff! He had caster gear because he was actually a caster. Oh my god, these mid-level kills don't happen often, but when they do, it's the best loot. It's so good. Everything, almost everything so far is actually usable. That's usable. Wow, holy crap. I'm currently at the Knolls right now, and it looks like I'm really OP. Okay, so we have a brand new hat. More of a... Oh, it's a little wizard hat. Oh my... Guys, that's gorgeous. Okay, and uh, brand new ring. That is really, really nice. Brand new pants and brand new necklace. Big, big, guys. So currently, I'm at 1450 crits with Starfire. Let's see if I can get one. Uh, that isn't... Oh, okay, I would get a lower crit right after I say that. But uh, 1450 is what I know I just saw. That is pretty good. My Holy Fire, by the way, which, remember, is carded. Which, who would have thought... Okay, there you go. There's the crit. But you wouldn't have thought the Holy Fire would be good. And it is. It hits like a truck with a crazy fast cast time. Literally, I can get it down to 0.91 when I get my Starfire proc. It's so fast, people don't expect it. And without any talents, it's hitting just as hard as a Starfire. So, I mean, look at this. That's a 1299. We'll call that more of an average Starfire. And boom. 
632 no crit holy fire and so when it crits it's about the same but it's on a way faster cast time and if i get locked out of my arcane it doesn't matter because i can still shoot them with basically the equivalent as you can see of a starfire at 716 there no crit it's really really good all right quest complete really big deal guys oh i have a brand new cape as well so that's three extra stamina and uh, a trinket for 15 fire resistance. It's better than nothing. So yeah, okay. Alright guys, it's been a bloodbath, but we're level 53, just got done with the ogre quest, I have a rogue ice thistle quest now for uh, winter spring, and with all of my PKs, I was able to spend quite a bit of gold and get a bunch of new gear, so now we have Eye of Flame for 35 SP, Embrace of the Wind Serpent for 35 SP, I also picked up some minor things, Adelaide Gloves with the Eagle, 9 more SP, really well statted, uh, Spell Shock Leggings, this was 5 gold, certainly worth it, and I think there was maybe one other thing. Oh, the Kentica Mice. I think that's how you say that last word. Uh, not the best stats, but it does have 12 SP, and yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, and the Sprite Caster Cape. 11 more. 348 SP. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be a pretty good advantage. I'm gonna need it, because Winter Spring is terrifying. 11 minutes later. Holy crap, guys, what can I say? We actually just completed just two quests, and I found nobody the entire time, and bada bing, bada boom, I'm level 60. Uh, I, I hate this bug. We're not getting any spells we can use either. Let's see. Anything from this? Consecration. Wind Fury on the wrong guy, of course. And Water Breathing. So, the goal is to find somebody to fight at max now, and maybe buy, uh, maybe a few other upgrades if we can. Maybe for my boots, maybe for my belts, and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna fight to the death. If that's the next fight, or three more after, who knows? Okay, so this is the build we ended up with at max. We basically have what you would expect with the Starfire build, but there are some notable abilities that helped carry me along the way. Icy Veins, absolutely pivotal. We also ended up picking up the Totem of Wrath for more spell power and more crit. Has been amazing. Power Word Shield was a very big one as well, because I feel very, very tanky, and I also have the Lesser Healing Wave and a bunch of different heals in general with the fort and the thorns as well. It's all just a very nice mixture of kind of like a tanky caster that also just pumps and I have no spell pushback or anything to worry about either and of course you can't forget the holy fire which has also carried the build. I have 25 rerolls now let's see if we get anything good. There's a bunch of really cool level 60 stuff that could potentially change the build and make our next fight a lot easier. Well, it has to be bugged to ruin the moment but it's okay because we're gonna take death coil get rid of the safe fall. I uh, could have maybe got rid of regrowth but you know what let's just play it like this and okay man wow. 300% of the damage caused heals me and it makes them run in horror for three seconds and that's different from a fear You will not break it with damage So it's basically a stun, but it's a stun on a 20 yard range It's just so powerful with a heal attached to it. So that's a really big start We had zero CC the power level of everybody's gonna go up We might encounter some tryhards and so we've got to make sure we get the best stuff we can possibly get All right, let's keep going wyvern sting that could be pretty good as well just for CCing people getting a couple heals off maybe if it doesn't share diminishing returns it could go well into the freezing trap i do need to open up a talent point for it though and yeah we'll go ahead and take the wyvern sting what can i replace astral recall there we go that is a big one as well, guys. We are chock full of CC. And that's exactly what I want. I do need to buy a ranged weapon, and then I need to definitely equip... Oh, I already have arrows. Okay, so that's good, but then we'll be able to actually use the ability. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, that was the last one. I basically... I got Wrath. Maybe we can use Wrath. I don't know if it's better than just spamming Starfire, though, because of just the crazy damage, but Wrath would allow us to do something like Eclipse, which says after I Starfire, I then do more damage with Wrath, and after using Wrath, I then have a higher chance to crit with starfire so it's like you're going back and forth i guess i'll throw my two points into it and uh we'll play around with it and just see how it feels but yeah okay this seems to be the build we're going with
guys i see a zen rock dude we gotta get out of here i see literal shoulders an upgrade uh i think that's a trinket upgrade with spell power what so many good items our first fight at max we oh my god we actually get so many really good items i literally can't believe it okay i got pants from that a new hat another ring a freaking trinket of all things brand new shoulder pads brand new boots nope wait wait oh my god they are better item level 70 what the hell less spell power maybe that's incorrect it's a lot more bulky though i mean i don't know Let's try it. Guys, that is insane. I am so excited for that. Okay, I'm on my way to Frost Saber Rock because I have a quest to kill somebody here. I saw some activity in the chat in this area earlier, so I'm really just hoping I find somebody to fight, and I hope it's a good fight. Holy crap, guys. So these chests out here are giving me loot that corresponds to the loot that I risk. So I'm in Anixia's Lair levels right now, and or up to, and so I got a Jindo's Judgment of Grit, which is a huge upgrade over my green staff. It's like my worst piece of gear. Massive, and I've gotten a few things like this so far. A few other epics, something I can maybe put on the auction house, and yeah, this is insane. All this epic stuff in my inventory came from just chilling out here. There's nobody out here for me to fight, though. Though, but I am gonna go be real quick and just sell things and uh, quit my new staff and we'll keep looking And more ownage <laughs> can't even believe it he's so pissed oh man this feels good to not have to use the busted flavor of the month uh spells right and still come out on top it feels actually exceptional a spinal reaper of focus that might sell wow i think that guy was consecrated strikes we got a bunch of good loot from him okay i'll take it wow this has been my spot to find people so far. I've talked about this place before, but it's a really good place to farm Felcaches because there's like five of them that are going to possibly spawn here and you're basically guaranteed to get it. This is also a place that people in their high 50s go to finish off questing. So sometimes you don't even have to kill anything to get the felt chests and people kind of don't expect 60s to be here. Oh, here's a guy. Watch this. Wrath into the Starfire with crits. Oh, it's going to crit more now. Look at this. He's like, what is happening? Oh, and the freaking holy fire crit 1400 too. Wow. This is ridiculous. All right, let's go B. All right, and that's the quest to kill five players completed now, by the way. I think it goes two, three, five. Could be wrong. Could be two and then five. Regardless, it's 50 gold and I'll definitely take that. This is Fellforge mode, so I'm putting everything on here for really, really cheap prices. All right, guys, this is going so well, but we're still going to go out there and we'll see if we can find more people to fight. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what is this? What, what is the fan fiction that I'm getting in world chat now? Sometimes I just see my name go like completely feral in world chat and, be, and people just go hard. And uh, this is the most interesting one I've seen so far. McDoubles watched my little brother die. He poked his lights out with a baton. After that, he said, what's up guys? McDoubles here again. And I just poked this guy's lights out. It was heartless. I haven't recovered. I, are you kidding? I love it. I want all of you to know that if I ever decide to stream, and there could come a day where I decide that that's what I want to do, but uh, if I ever do, I really hope I go down the path of Raynad and Forsin and Soda Poppin and Wreckful and not down the path of any of the other guys. <laughs> to be real with you, not, not a fan of the rest. Dudes, this is just wrong. I cannot lose so far. So I just found another guy and killed him. Like, what are the odds, man? This is such a hot spot. We got a bunch of interesting stuff, but at this point, my gear is actually so good that I don't really need anything, which I'm not... Oh, well, hello. <laughs> yes. Don't mind if I do. Uh-oh, freeze the pet, right? Okay. Oh, my God. Let's play less bad. Let's play less bad. By the way, look at this. Summoning fell stalkers. Do they attack him? Nope. Do they do anything? It's a fell forged exclusive, by the way. Do I lose? There's no way, right? Got him. Come on. Yes! Holy crap! Good fight, dude! I was scared. I got quiet for a second, guys. I was like, no, this dude undergears me. That was one of the first examples in forever of me feeling like I fought somebody who was actually like... This guy's probably better than me. And I, I outgeared him. That's what that one felt like. Wowza. 
Love it. Oh, look, they do fight things, just maybe not the right thing. Okay, this is a Fellforge thing. I paid 50 gold for it, so I was a little wonky there, man. Uh, once I was genuinely tested, I almost just completely blew it. How embarrassing would that have been? But we made it. I will definitely take it. I mean, I told you, somebody just dropped on top of me, for God's sakes. And based on the way they dropped, which was not directly on top of me, it makes me feel like they didn't even know I was there. All right, here's another chest, by the way. Such a good hotspot, dude. Oh, wow. That's actually an upgrade for my boots. Huge. 70 item level. Okay, what else? I was being cocky in that fight, too. That's, like, really important to keep in mind. There was a point where I was thinking that I was just gonna mess around, and then I... It's kind of like that meme. It's like, fuck around and find out. And I did. And I found out. And <laughs> I almost regretted it. Okay, so I just got another two-piece. So I have extra mana per five now. That's pretty interesting. Huge upgrades. Uh, somehow 58 item level. I think it's because I have the level 20 trinket. I think that's bringing me down like three or four item levels. So I think it's a lot better than it looks. It's possibly even more than that. I have a 43 necklace as well and a 47 cape. So those are the things I need to look to replace. Oh, speaking of replacing the cape. Wow. Okay, there you go. Saphiron Drape of Brilliance. So we PK'd so many things, dude. Oh, we even got a necklace. What the hell? Jindo's evil eye. Oh my god. So I'm at 61 item level now. So maybe like 64 if I replace the trinket. That's insane. This is fell forged. I've already got a full inventory of loot too. So I'm going to go sell stuff and we'll just keep looking. Okay. We just upgraded our gloves to blood tinged gloves of strength, which is absolutely ridiculous because I was previously using the Adelaide gloves of the Eagle. We are ready, dude. 62 item level. Holy crap, guys. I am currently the only max level player in fell forge mode right now. <laughs> Is there no one else? Is there no one else? At least, unless there's people out in the open world right now, at level 60, I'm literally looking at everybody currently in the spawn. Okay, so I'm saying logged on. And there is not a single other level 60. I've defeated them all. I've defeated Ligma Balls right here. I've defeated Fell Bear, literally, I think. I've defeated Nornix, probably. You know, I feel like I've defeated you all. All of you. Geralto, and this guy, Perkelly, you, little chub, and you, Zoro, who I actually did kill. I just, just, yes, dude! Oh my god, it feels so good. You can't even imagine how good it feels. But my god, guys, I think this is going to have to be the end of the video because I simply can't find a fight. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and to subscribe. I'll try to do some more Fell Forge before it goes away tomorrow. But, or actually, when you see this, it'll be today. It doesn't matter. The point is, like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Big Doubles out. <laughs>